Hey guys, Coach Cupcake again. If you guys are here, I'm hoping that you guys are getting ready to stretch. And by getting ready, that you already finished doing the warm up that I posted in the video prior to this. Okay? Always warm up before you stretch. Okay? We should not stretch cold muscles. So it is very important. There's a reason why we make you guys run in a circle doing all those fun jumps and runs before we get to our stretch. Okay? We're trying to get you guys warmed up. Trying to get some blood flowing. Woo! So you should be breathing like me right now. Maybe a little less. Three weeks in quarantine has been very relaxing. No workouts yet, but I miss you guys. I miss the gym. So I'm going to take my own advice. I'm going to stay active. I'm going to stay safe and healthy. Practice some good habits. And those habits are warming up before you stretch and then stretching before you practice your gymnastic skills, all right? So, we're just gonna go through a normal stretch. You guys can do it with me. I'll count it out loud. Woo! All right, first up, I know you guys didn't forget this stuff. Bike, tuck, and a straddle, all right? Okay, so we're gonna start our bike stretch. I'm gonna go this way, you guys. So you guys can see do the whole stretch. Okay, I'm gonna start with legs, my toes pointed. Oh, all right, ready. Touch it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and hold it. Ten, nine, eight. If you guys can't reach this far, you can grab your ankles. We want to pull our chest in. We don't want to make a round back, all right? Keep your chest flat. Try to pull yourself down to your knees, all right? Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I'd rather you guys reaching under your legs to pull than having bent legs to get your toes, all right? We want to get rid of these mountains, flatten the mountains, point the toes, and we're reaching, okay? Okay, after we point your toes, we're going to pull our toes in. We're going to flex our feet. Good. I know some of you guys can't do it like this. You take a belt, you take a dog's leash, you take a bandana, you take a shoestring, put it over your toes, and pull them in, all right? If this is all you can get, this is all you can get. Luckily, I can reach my toes, I can tickle my toes. Tickle, 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 five. If you're really good at this, you can lift your feet off the ground while you're pulling yourself close. Three, two, one, nice. Felt the burn, okay? I like to do all the stretch, stretches a couple times, especially the pike. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it, 10, nine, eight. No mountains, reaching as far as you can. Okay, flat back, three, two, one. Flex those feet, wherever you can flex them from. Off the ground if you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. All right. I'm face you guys. I'm gonna do our butterfly stretch. Okay, butterfly stretch should not be all the way out here. At least not to start. All right. We're grabbing both our feet. We're pulling them in as close as we can. All right. All the way in. Okay, you're flapping them. Okay, you're flapping them. The goal is to get these knees down to the ground, opening up our hips, all right? So what I like to do is take my thumbs, put them between my feet, okay? Keep my elbows on my thighs, and I'm gonna open my feet like I'm opening a book, and as I'm opening, I'm pushing my legs down to the ground, all right? So I'll stay here for five, four, three, two, go, flatten them out. Now we're gonna do it again. We're gonna open it for five, and then we're gonna try to bring our chest on top of our feet for five seconds, all right? Ready, open the book. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Now we're gonna bring our chest all the way down. Five, four, still opening up the legs. Three, two, one. All right, now you do not, if you're doing this with your mom, dad, uncle, brother, sister, dog, Whoever is quarantined in the house with you, you are not 
pushing on your friends, your partner's legs, okay? You could hurt yourself if you push too hard, okay? So do it on your own, okay? Maybe mom and dad can give you a little more pressure, a little push, but you are not pushing down on anybody, okay? Let's remember that, all right? We got a pike, we got a tuck, and we have a straddle, okay? So we'll go to our straddle position, okay? Let's remember, I can't see my toes in this right now. Oh, my mat's moving. Oh, okay. You don't want your toes facing forward like this. All right, so before you try to make your straddle any bigger, turn your toes out and we keep them pointed. Right there in itself, I'm feeling the stretch, okay? You want your knees facing upwards, not moving forward, okay? See, my knees are already facing this way. Boom. Mom and dad, if you're watching and you want to help them, when they start to lean, make sure that that toes, just push it back, all right? Okay? Same thing on this side. Good. Now, we're going to do them both. We're going to go 10 seconds each side. If we're going to the right-hand side, we're going to put our right arm underneath, and we're going to reach, okay? So now we're opening up this side of our body as we're stretching our leg. Remember, no mountains. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, switch, no mountains, pull to toes, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right, check those out, all right, now, my name is Coach Cupcake, so the pancake stretch is a little difficult for me, all right, luckily we warmed up, so maybe I'll be able to get all the way down to the ground. Okay, you want to keep your back flat, legs flat, toes pointed, pushed outwards, and you want to reach to the ground. Oof, okay. We've got 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Alright, so you guys see, I'm warmed up. I'm bouncing a little bit, stretch those muscles out little by little. You want to, you don't want to go down too fast, too hard for too long, right? We're not here to hurt ourselves. We're here to get better, to get stronger. All right. So I'm gonna shake out my legs a little bit. Okay. I think I can go a little bit lower. And if not, you guys can do it better anyway, right? All right. Let's reach. Good. Ten. Oh wow. Okay, wherever you feel your muscles tight, guys, before you move on to the next stretch, you get a little extra stretch. I like to pull one knee in, pull it down, one knee in, pull it down. You don't gotta hold it for 10, 15 seconds, all right? Just get a little bit stretch. Just trying to get loose for those skills, you know? Get those legs warmed up so when we start kicking for needle kicks and cartwheels. All right, all right. So, next up, I'm gonna face sideways again. You're gonna sit in your tuck position. You're gonna put your hands facing in. I always, when we're ever doing our tabletops, I want your fingers facing in. Okay, something I learned. Never want your fingers facing out. Gymnastics, gymnastics technicalities aside, you don't wanna sit like this, fingers out. You're asking for someone to run, run over your fingers with their tricycle, step on them, the dogs to run over them with the nails, all right? Facing our fingers forward, okay, keeping them tight in. And we're gonna lift our belly buttons up as high as we can. We're gonna hold this here. We're gonna get a shoulder stretch right here, pushing it up. Okay, feel it in my legs, my quads. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. All right. If you're having a hard time holding it or you think you can hold it for longer, okay, we're gonna do simple things. Push your tabletop up. Good, hold one leg, switch, switch, okay. You can spin in a circle. Still trying to keep your core up as high as you can, okay. You go back, forward, 
Okay, if you want, you can add this to your warm up. Okay, crab walks across the mat. Okay, but all in all, belly up and 10 seconds. We're gonna flip it over to our belly. We're gonna do some seal stretches, okay? So, we're gonna get your hips down on the ground. Okay, I like to start from down here. Hands in tight. And push. Good. Okay. Feet together in the back, super important. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, right from the seal stretch, I like to push back into a cat stretch. Okay, our cat stretch is not right here. Okay, just, you know, resting. Okay, this is not what it is, okay? You get back into a cat stretch, keep your head up, and then slide out, okay? The idea is that you want your armpits to try to get down to the ground. This is for a shoulder stretch right here, okay? Good. Five, four, three, two, Okay, careful getting up. Like I said, I like to do them a couple times. Always getting better the next time. Seal stretch. You guys want to get fancy. You can try and touch your head to the ground. Oh, your head to your toes. Okay, I'm almost there, right? Oh, you guys are probably doing a lot better than me. Five, four, three, two. It's a little embarrassing. Maybe I'll edit that out. Probably won't. All right, we're gonna go for a cat stretch. Okay, back, slide forward. Okay, if your armpits are already down to the ground, you just lift up on your hands. Okay, and now, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Now we're gonna do it right from there. Okay. Oh. Oh, it was recording that whole time? It said low battery. I probably won't edit that out either. Sorry, guys. Okay. Now we're going to stretch our wrists, all right? Turn them backwards. Okay. Lean back slowly. Keep those hands flat. I like to bounce a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Turn them out. Bounce back and forth. We'll go 10 seconds. We'll go one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. If you feel a little tight, hold it. Nine, ten. All right, shake them out, shake them out. Okay, last wrist. We're gonna put them upside down, fingers facing your knees, and we're just gonna lean back slowly, okay? Not too hard, not too heavy. Just to get that wrist, that forearm stretch. Good, five, four, three, two, one. Some fingers. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll them out. Push, push, whatever works for you guys. All right. Next one up is one of the most important, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to show you why. If you guys don't practice your bridge, it's going to look like mine. Okay? So. I'm gonna show you how to get into the bridge. I'm gonna to attempt to hold the bridge. And we're gonna pretend I do this every day like I tell you guys to. All right? So we lay down. Okay, almost in a tuck position. Now we got our mountains. Okay, our hands are behind our head. Okay, close to our ears, right guys? We don't want them out here. We don't want them all the way out here. We wanna make a round bridge, okay? Not a long, stretched out, lanky bridge, all right? We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds, and I'm gonna to try to do the same. All right. Oh boy, here we go. Whew. For the kids, for the kids, for the kids. Ready, set, bridge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh boy, eight, nine, ten. Look at your belly. Oh, good job. Come on. Say good job to me too. You didn't think I was gonna do that. All right, now I'm gonna tell you what you can do 
then I will not. Okay, when you're in your bridge for the second time, I want you guys to do five bridges for about 10 seconds, for about 10, 15 seconds in between, okay? Between each one, we can do some rocking rolls. Okay, holding your knees, you don't want to push your hands back, so we rock. Good. Get that butt off the ground when we go back. Good. You want to get fancy, you can go to a candlestick. Okay, on your shoulders, hold them up tight. Good. Okay, arms back for the candle. Okay, just so we can loosen our back, get it nice and going. Okay, what you can do during your bridge, while you're in your bridge, you can put your feet together and you can push it out, pushing your shoulders towards the wall, okay? Okay, do that for 10 seconds. Look at your belly, come down. Or what you can do is, you can push up to a bridge, hold it nice and tight, lift up one leg, and lift up the leg five times, all right? Now at that point, you're working on being uh, having balance, being stable on your in your bridge, okay? Not falling over, so be careful with that one. Practice maybe once just lifting up and holding it. Come down, try both legs. We want to work out both sides. We want to be good on both sides and be dexterous, okay? Let's see who can spell that word when they get back, all right? Because I can't, okay? <sighs> Whew. Sometimes I wonder why you guys say the things you say, but it's just because... You're exhausted. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Everyone say hi to Dexter. I know. I gotta do a bridge, though. Oh. There we go, I got some. All right. Going for our bridge. You guys should be on, like, your third one by now. I've been talking, trying to get past them. All right. Ready. Set. Woo. Can I go on one leg? Oh, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Ten. Nine. No, nope, not okay. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, okay, okay. Woo! Uh, oh, rock and rolls. Here we go. We're rocking and we're rolling. Oh. Ooh. I'm going to practice this every day. And before the end of the quarantine, I'm going to put another stretch video out. And we're going to see who's gotten farther in their stretches, all right? I'm going to do that bridge, and I'm going to lift my legs up five times. And I'm going to do that warm-up in the previous video. And I'm not going to still be tired. 17 minutes. This is a 17-minute stretch. Jeez.